Welcome to my cream blush collection. This is my pride and joy. I'm really into cream blush right now, so this will be an especially challenging category to declutter. So immediately upon looking at this collection, I know that I need the MAC So Natural Glow Play Blush. Take it over the cheek, barely needs any blending because it's so sheer. Ooh, it's so easy to blend. You don't even really need to blend, it's just as you apply the edges blend itself. And this is kind of like my everyday blush. If I don't know what to wear, I grab the, the So Natural. It has a slight sheen, but it's really refined. Oh, love this, holy grail. Another formula that really stands out as I look at my blusher collection is the Apu Juicy Pang Blusher. You guys know I've been talking about this formula for a while. I love it. It is quite a watery uh, blush formula with a kind of like a nail polish situation here, but I find that this is a really nice sort of thin gel uh, that has a translucency that gives the cheeks a bit of like almost like a jelly quality, juicy jelly quality. Um, so it's definitely quite a sheer product, but I like that. I like my blushes to be sheer so I can build them slowly. I've got a few colors here and I feel like I can maybe get rid of one, of one or two colors. So we have PKO3, CRO2, ORO1 and PK01. Damn, these are really pretty. Damn, how am I gonna get rid of any of them? But they're all kind of colors that I would use. Nah, I love that formula. I love all the colors. I'm gonna keep those. <laughs> oh, I can already tell that this section is gonna be really difficult for me. Okay, another uh, blush formula that I've been loving recently, and I've only just um, started using these, so I want to keep them. The Charlotte Tilbury Matte Beauty Blush Wands. Brilliant. So this is designed to be a little bit more of a matte blush formula, but I find that it takes on the, the texture and the finish of whatever kind of skincare and base you have underneath it. As with all these Charlotte Tilbury products, I do have a real love-hate relationship. Oh, I just made a big mess. I have a love-hate relationship with these applicators, but ugh, what do you do? Okay, so this one here is Pink Pop. Then we've got Dream Pop, it's a red shade. You would think it'd be quite difficult to pull off, but actually it blends out beautifully and gives a real kind of just bitten kind of vibe to the lip and cheek. This is the shade Peach Pop, and this is the shade Pillow Talk. I've been loving and wearing all of these shades. I just wanted to swatch them for you guys, but I've been loving all of these and I intend on keeping all of them. Yoink! I know that everyone really likes the Rare Beauty blushes. I know that they've got quite a cult following. Truthfully, these have always been a little bit too pigmented for my liking. And I find myself, in order to blend them out, I find myself lifting my foundation and it's just a little bit too much hassle for me. So I think I'm actually gonna leave those. I do really enjoy these Mecca beauties. This is the Mecca Weekend Skin. So on one side you have a blush a cream blush and on the other side you have a highlight and this is a fabulous formula it actually uh, reminds me quite a bit of the stiller blushes but i don't really know that i need all three of these shades so let's have a quick look oh they're so pretty and this has almost like a little bit i want to say like almost a tacky kind of sticky consistency but it blends beautifully into foundation and it gives you that kind of sheen not glitter, not uh, shimmer, but rather just that natural sheen that looks so healthy on the skin. What color, what color? Watermelon is a really interesting shade actually. It's got, oh, look at that pink, that's incredible. And this one here is rose. So a little bit more of a muted, muted shade there. And this one here is blossom. Okay, I'm going to keep uh, watermelon and rose, and I'll leave this one here. They're all beautiful, I just don't need so many similar colors. This was an amazing formula, I loved this so much. The Too Faced uh, Pinch My Cheeks blushes, Pinch My Cheeks. Ah, oh, wonderful kind of dry silicone formula, but I think this was this is a formula that's long gone. The M Cosmetics Serum blushes, these are gorgeous. they require a shake because they have the tendency to separate. But um, this is another liquid blush formula. I will say this stuff, glossy, like very decidedly glossy. If you are not absolutely committed to the glass skin lifestyle, I don't know if this one will be necessarily your vibe. That doesn't really set either. They stay kind of tacky and sticky and they're a little bit of a magnet for baby hairs of which I have plenty. 
So I think I will keep one of these. I have the shade Rose Milk and Peachy Peach. Oh, but they're so pretty. They're both so lovely. I love this formula. Oh. Nah, <laughs> I've got to keep both of those two. All right, I swear I'm going to become a little bit more committed to this declutter. Okay, I have enjoyed in the past the um, Nude Sticks Nudies Bloom all over face dewy color. This is another cream blush formula that has quite a bit of luminosity. It's quite a creamy finish. So I've got the shade here, Sweet Peach and Bohemian Rose here. Both really pretty colors. I think I'm gonna keep the peach on this occasion um, just because of the other colors, not really my vibe. I do love the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek, although I find that these tend to dry out quite quickly because the product itself is quite thin. There's only a little bit of product in these compacts, so they tend to dry out quite fast. But this is kind of similar to the MAC Glow Play formula if you want something a little bit more affordable. I think I will be leaving those today just because they are a little bit dry and old. I need to repurchase some. I do really enjoy the, the Ciate Dewy Blush Glossy Cheek Tint, another one that is highly, highly glossy to the point where it could catch a stray baby hair. I'm gonna um, leave those on these occasions just because I've got the M Cosmetic Serum Blushes. I don't think I need like so many glossy skin options. Or do I? I mean, it's hard to say. Oh, the Westman Atelier. This is a lovely formula. The blush in Touchette. This has uh, like a bit of a rosebud, peachy rosebud vibe. Love this formula, I'm gonna keep that. Old school subscribers will remember the Yves Saint Laurent Baby Doll Kiss and Blush. I use this in so many tutorials, it was one of my favorite. This formula is long gone, oh, but I missed it. Oh, the Cheek Tone Cream. So many nostalgic moments here. I like this NARS blush, um, the Air Matte blush, but I find it is a little bit pigmented, so I've got to be kind of careful with application. So I'm gonna leave that one, actually. It doesn't blow my socks off. I have two liquid kind of illuminating blush options here. I've got one from By Terry, the CC blush, and the Fluid Sheer from Armani. To be honest, I think I'm most drawn to the, the By Terry in this case. The Fluid Sheers are very sheer, whereas the By Terry blush has a good amount of pigment to it. Oh, so pretty. I love a liquid blush. I think that they're really easy to work with, actually. I'm gonna keep that one. So here we have the, the Fenty uh, Cheeks Out Cream Blush uh, formula. And this is a solid formula. I, I enjoy it as much as I enjoy a lot of my cream blushes. But I, do I need all of these shades? I think I would just keep uh, this one here, which is Petal Poppin number two, a wonderful peachy pink along the lines of my entire blush collection. She loves a peachy pink. I do love the Clinique Chubby Sticks. And that's a really pretty shade. What's that? Amped Up Apple. Oh, that's really nice. No, I think I will, I think I'll let that one, let that one go. I also loved this By Terry um, Glow Expert Stick that has a highlight and a blush. This is long gone as well, discontinued formula. So sad to see that one go. I loved this Tom Ford duo. This formula is very similar to that Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate formula. So quite a thin, greasy formula, but I kind of love that. Ah, nah, as, as, much as, I, as much as I love it, there is just not enough face for all of this product. So I'm gonna leave that one. I do want to keep some of my Salt New York uh, creams. So this is Cream Tint Pro by Salt New York, an incredible formula. They do blush, highlight, bronzer, contour, amazing contours, actually really um, clever contour shades that have that slight grayish undertone that mimics a shadow better than a bronzer would. Um, so yeah, she does a really fabulous range of shades, but I can't keep them all, I wish I could. <laughs> Okay, I made myself a little quad here out of the shades that I think I'll get really good use out of. So this one here is Rose and Coral. Stunning. And then I've also got a great contour and the pearl highlight, the first one. I've got a little face palette there, a little cream face palette. I'm gonna love that. I do actually enjoy these Huda Beauty cheek tints. They have a, a like a lovely translucent quality. They 
kind of let the skin's natural texture show through, which I think is really flattering. And this is the shade that I tend to um, gravitate towards most, Coral Cutie. I'm gonna keep that one. I like to add this just as a little pop, just in the center of the cheek. So I'll use a more neutral blush around and just get that little bright pop in the center. I think it's really cute. Okay, I think before I start overthinking this and keeping them all, we just need to move on. But what about this one? That's a really pretty color. No. No, Karima. Put it back. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Also, if you would like to come and say hello to me on Instagram, I'm there at Karima McKimmy, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.